Hey guys, I'm back again with another video to show you how to make subpages. Okay, so you know when you have your bullet point, right? Taking notes, you have your idea. Then you have a subheading. And beneath that, you'll have some examples, right? Just like that. That's essentially how the subpages work. Okay, so in the last last video, I copied the postmodernism page into my individual notebook. So now I'm going to start my assignment. Um, I want to do my Cornell notes about postmodernism underneath this example and the underneath the instructions. So what I can do is make these Cornell notes a sub page right so what you have to do is right click and make sub page so see now that the that page of cornell notes is underneath this postmodernism page and it can hide when um now i want to make a separate page what if i wanted to do a separate page for examples of how it's seen in Death of a Salesman. I want this to go underneath the Cornell notes because it's it's a sub section. So what I, I'll do that again. I'll make sub page. So as you can see, there's a slight indent right between the pages, and that's how you can tell if there's a sub page. Um, now, mm, I don't really like this. I don't like how it looks. I'm going to, ch I don't want subpages anymore. I want them to be regular. So what I'll do, all you do is promote subpage. And that one, I have to do it twice because it's a subpage. It's a sub of a subpage. So I have to promote it twice. And it's back to a regular page. I do it for the other one. Promote. And see, the arrow's gone. So now... I don't have any more subpages. Um so yeah, that's really it. Thank you.